All right, let's graph the linear equation for x plus 2y equals 0. And you can use a table of values for this. That works well. Or you can use slope-intercept form. In this video, we'll use slope-intercept form. You get the same answer either way. So let's rearrange this so it's in slope-intercept form. Let's subtract x from each side. And then let's divide both sides by 2 to get y by itself. And this is in slope-intercept form. We could just say plus 0 here since we don't have a y-intercept. And let's think of this as negative 1x over 2. So when we go to graph this, we don't have the y-intercept. Or we should say the y-intercept is 0. So we could put our first point right here. And this is where the line is going to cross the y-axis, the y-intercept. For the slope, we have negative 1 over 2. And we could think of that as rise over run. So what we do is we go to our y-intercept. We're going to rise 1. But since it's negative 1, we'll go down 1. And then we'll run 2, 1, 2. And we'll do it again. Go down 1, run 1, 2. One more time. Down 1, run 2. And you can see that's our graph there. Let's put a line through it. And we'll put some arrows here to show it goes to infinity. This is the graph for the equation x plus 2y equals 0. And if you used a table of values, you'd get the same general graph here. They're the same thing. That's it. This is Dr. B graphing the equation x plus 2y equals 0. Thanks for watching.